Hey, Benny Fish. It's the 3rd of March, 2018, 3-3. Three, three. And it's shaping up to be a weird day. I just got to share a few things here uh, to try and make heads or tails, no pun intended, of what I'm seeing here. But I showed you this uh, temple coin the other day and how it came out on February 28th, which just happened to be the exact day of the feast fast of Esther. 1213 in the Jewish calendar right so I'm show I showed you that and the fact that it came out so it's came out on 1213 and it was posted at 949 which is a 13 and a 13 and I showed you how the temple coin is 322 in Jewish gematria okay now I'm was continuing to do a study in this because it really is fascinating but it appears in exodus 30 13 okay talks about the sank the shekel of the sanctuary how each one that is numbered okay will give a ransom for his soul the sanctuary shekel the rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less then half a shekel when you give an offering unto the Lord to make atonement for your souls. Okay, so I'm continuing the study, and I showed you how the the temple coin was three two two in the uh, gematria there. I mean, I can I can show you again just so in case some of you didn't see it. I still have it open up here somewhere. Temple coin three two two. Well, as I am continuing this study, I find that. Uh, this is also brought up in Romans and in of all places guess where it's brought up in Romans 3 verse 22 through 24 telling us the same thing except you don't need a half shekel of the sanctuary you need Jesus Christ okay even the righteous of god which is by faith of jesus christ unto all and upon all them that believe for there is no difference just like it's saying here whether you be rich or poor it doesn't matter there's no difference right for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in christ jesus whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through the faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Now, that's a big deal, right? But they still insist on making their little coin. And this is going to get them in trouble, I'm telling you. But what really blew me away, right? Okay, let me just regroup here. It's enough, not enough that I'm seeing 13, 13, 13, 13, 322, 322, and then it lands on the 13th of Adar when they released it. Now we are in the 16th of Adar, right? This is weird because I walked away from this. This, this wasn't ample enough in my view to make a video. So I walked away and I came back later and I was looking at some news. And of course I see now North Korea fully ready to fight the u.s released today at 11 11 a.m okay and i will link all this stuff there's some very strange talk in here but north korea is coming out today and saying we're not going to talk to you we're keeping our nukes and we're ready to fight right so i see that and i keep poking through the news and i come across this article how can a place with 58,000 homeless people continue to function I don't know. This is Los Angeles, and that is just crazy, people. That's nuts. But it's a 13. So there's another 13. And I'm looking at this image here, and I see this clock back here, this, this watch or whatever, and it's on 1216. Well, what's the date today? Today is 1216. Adar 16. And I'm saying, whoa, that's just freaky weird, right? But if you look at this backwards, it's 9121. Well, 91, I already knew this, but 91 is perfectly divisible by 13. 
How many times? Seven. What's 21? It's seven times three. Seven, seven, seven. So we have a 13, seven, 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 and it's a pattern. It's a, it's a blatant pattern. And here we are on three, three, uh, for a date, right? Well, it, it didn't end there. I, I continued my study in the uh, sanctuary shekel, and it's mentioned again in Exodus 38, 26, a becca for every man, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for everyone that went to be numbered from 20 years old and upward, for 600,000 and 3,000 and 550 men. 603,550. I'm thinking that's just a strange uh, number, right? But this is the way my mind works. So I go back here to 13 Adar. And I just put in there, folks. That's all I do. The, from the 28th, the 13th of Adar, 603,550 days I take off. And where does it bring me? September 11th in the year 365. Enoch, anyone? September 11th, anyone? And how I connect this back to today was because of the Koreans screaming that they're ready to fight again. And it came to my mind about their missiles. Remember, they sh they've been shooting their missiles off left and right? So I go back to the last one they shot in it just happens to be on November 29th. The 70 years for Israel that declared itself a state, so on and so forth. We all know all about that. And I just go from that day, this is when North Korea shot off their biggest missile, to today. And it's 94 days, which is 3 months and 3 days, which is 13 weeks and three days nine and four are 13 and i can't not say anything we're in three three we get, it's just too many things that connect that point to today but the ultimate message of course is right here in romans that's all you got to do folks go to romans 3 read it but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all them that believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You do not need a shekel okay this is just crazy bizarre stuff going on here and a lot of it points to today in my spirit but hey whatever i mean i see it i share it and i hope that it fits into someone else's piece so that when we put it all together we know where we're at and we do know where we're at we are in the end days folks doesn't matter how long there is what you need to know is that you need Jesus. It's that simple. I mean, really, you can't, you can't make it any simple. Whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. You don't need no skull and bone shekel, temple coin, okay? So, there you have it. Just sharing that with y'all. My portion. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming. It's just a matter of time, folks. We are there. So seek him if you don't know him. You need him. Trust me, he's the only savior. He's the only way out of this darkness. So... Seek him today. Perfect day for it. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God 
that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 